Hey everybody. So I was making some videos on um, a cherry axe handle. Uh, I skipped all a bunch of parts. It was basically my first time, so um, no sense videotaping a bunch of mistakes or you know just different methods that just look retarded. But uh, but anyways, um, so I, I got two. Um, here's one. Uh, the grain was bad on the end, so. Um, yeah, it's just no good. I had to shorten it, and so I'm left with. Uh, hold on one sec. Because 28. <clears throat> yeah, so I'm left with 28 inches. It could still be a good axe, um, but uh, but yeah, it's it's a really interesting project. Um, the the grain. I'm tempted to to worry about the grain. You can't. It's kind of hard to see on the camera, but um, people are ranting and raving about hickory, and yeah, I'm, I'm sure it's great. It's the best axe handle material, um, but uh, I mean, this is gonna work too. Um, maybe not for as many years or whatever, but you know, it's gonna look beautiful. So, um, but uh, anyways, uh, just a quick review. Um, I was using my my fro which my friend made me to split some cherry logs. Um, so this one, you saw me chainsaw the rough, uh, the rough cut. Um, cut it down the middle, so I have a very thin one. I don't, I might try and uh, hang this one, but um, or it's just a template. But yeah, so I chainsawed that out, and um, and then used my angle grinder with uh, I think it's 60 grit. To um, to just get the rough shape, and then uh, uh, on the palm sander, um, 100 grit or 80, and then down to 120, and then I got these little sand pads that are just beat to crap, but um, they leave me with a, a very nice finish. It's very smooth. So uh, so yeah, here's the first one. The uh, the next one uh, because I just wasn't happy with that for my customer. Um, uh, like you may have seen on uh, on different videos, guys just using just a hatchet um, just to uh, to square up their piece of wood, and so uh, that's how I got the rough shape of the final product. So, um, so yeah, just traced it, uh, axed it out uh, again. Then I dried it a bit in my house. I was watching the weight and put it near heater and whatever. And so it's uh, yeah, that, I'm, I'm pretty happy with. Uh, the humidity level or whatever in or in the um, in the wood, but uh, but yeah, again, split the log with the fro, then um, just did my best to follow the grain as as best I could, and so uh, so yeah, I, I think that method would um, just keep as much of the grain in the handle as possible. You know, like uh, you can look at the end grain, you know, and it could be all. Um, you know the, the correct direction for maximum strength but what if when they planed it the grain is like this you know um, it's possible it'll look fine um, I don't know if there's really a way to tell but, but, uh, but yeah anyways so this one is my finished one so it's split both with, it's split with the fro um, and the log had a natural curve in it so I did my best to to follow that so, uh, so yeah I'm really happy with the way this turned out um, another thing I, I tried was uh, I took the torch to it a little bit to kind of color the end so that yeah again this is cherry um, yeah look at that color that's just I don't know if you can really see it's almost like a purple um, yeah it turned out very good it it's uh, it's kind of finicky with the torch but um, but yeah, I've been experimenting, like burning the grain a little bit and then sanding it. But, uh, but yeah, I think it looks kind of cool. Just a different colored end. There you can tell there. But yeah, so it's got a nice hook on it. Um, the uh, the fawn wood is pretty big. Um, it's a really good grip along here. But uh, let's say you, you know you got your grip and you're limbing or whatever. Um, the fawn wood is big, so you know it's not going to fly out of your hands. Uh, I weighed it before I um, 
in the rough shape and it might be about two pounds um, or a pound and a half the handle but uh but yeah um, so this is the finished product I'm gonna sharpen up the um, the axe head but uh yeah really happy with with how it turned out the uh, the grain looks really cool it's kind of hard to to show you guys but, but yeah so uh, the actual length of this handle or sorry it's 31 and uh, yeah I took it outside to try it a little bit um, it, it's really nice um, yeah it's a little bit heavier uh, depends what size you are I guess um, I'm used to just vigorous bowl work um, you know so maybe some people would prefer something like you know almost toothpick thickness but um, yeah this is really nice so yeah it's a finished product uh, I'm not gonna tell you how much I'm selling it for but uh, yeah it's kind of an interesting business um, I just put an ad on Kijiji and uh, and yeah, a lot of people were interested in rehanging their axe. I just said, you know, I make axe handles. Um, if you got a, an old axe head that you'd like rehung, uh, that means something to you, I'll, I'll do up a nice uh, handle for you. So, I think that's a pretty darn nice handle. You kind of see the little edge I added on there. It's not totally round. It feels really nice, so. Are pretty straight. There's a little imperfections, but so yeah, there it is the complete cherry handle axe made for uh, um, you know some limbing and um, maybe a little bit of splitting. Yeah, I think my clients are gonna really like this. I really like it. And I don't want to give away. Anyways, guys, if you watched this whole video, thank you. Uh, I'm sorry I'm I'm at the noob level of uh, of YouTube videos, but. Um, yeah, I want to try and uh, not just get my name out there, but it's kind of fun. And uh, I'm going to try and make some more videos. So, hope you enjoyed the cherry axe handle.